Hey guys, I'm Pascal from Orange Pixel and I just checked and it's been six weeks since I did the last uh, drawing on this channel. So today I'm gonna do some drawing. Um, I have a fun idea, so I'm gonna push the pixels and then write the code and at the end of it we should have something new and cool in the game. And I know I've said I wasn't adding new stuff to the game but only fixing bugs. But you know, I mean, game development is the most fun if you're adding new stuff and then fixing bugs is for later. So after the video, I'll be fixing all the bugs that I'll introduce during the video. All right, um, I'm just gonna draw something and I'm not gonna tell you just yet what it is. So if you wanna guess before I mention it, or before the drawing is done, let me know in the comments below what you think it is and what you guessed. and. We'll see if you're right or not, or what, what it looked like. I'm very interested in what everybody thinks it's gonna be while I'm still drawing. So um, let's just hop in right here. Let's just get everything set up. And for those asking, um, I'm using GIMP. There are a lot of art tools you can use, but I'm very comfortable with GIMP. I've been using it for many years now. And you can use whatever you like. It's not really what kind of tool you use, but more how you use it and how well you use it. So. For me, drawing in GIMP is pretty much uh, the most comfortable way to create sprites and images for the game. So have you already guessed what it's gonna be? Um, a little hint, this is only uh, one half of it. The, the left half, if you look at it, is gonna be the left half and we're gonna mirror it to the right side. So think of this image, but uh, double it in size, flipping it in the mirror. And let me know if you know what it is. Um, also for those asking, the palette I'm using is um, pretty much something I threw together for this game. The game uses only these colors I've added to this palette. Um, Nothing else, nothing more. I'm doing everything with these colors and it gives a certain look to a game. So this is really what I, this is probably the first game where I really generated a palette before anything else. I really wanted to have a certain look, certain colors and restrict myself to using these colors. So that's what I've been doing. And um, so far it looks pretty good. Right, so if you haven't guessed it by now, I did a terrible job, but um, these are sort of garage doors or storage doors, something like that. And we're gonna use it inside buildings. And the idea is that they open up when the building has a high alert status and special enemies come out that you don't really want to see in the level because they'll be much harder to kill and they will be much better at killing you. Anyway, that's the drawing done. Um, it probably needs a little bit refining, but the next step is just getting it in the game and the first step to do that is um, make sure it shows correctly on the screen especially since this is created out of multiple parts you want to make sure it all looks good and that's the first step we're gonna implement right now all right so basically everything in the game is an entity and some entities are generated using multiple images like this one um, so this entity will be split up in two parts we have a left part and a right part and then every entity needs to have all these uh, shutters parts of the door itself and um, getting it all correctly on the screen is the main task here so for people asking which engine I'm using um, I did videos on this I'm using libgdx as the base which is more of a framework not so much an engine uh, basically I built my own engine on top of it um, I use some of the elements from libgdx, but most of the code I use is created by me for this game specifically. And it's like using the right art tool or the right program to write your uh, documents or letters in. It's mostly what you're used to and comfortable with and then trying to get the most out of it.
step one and step two are done, drawing and getting it on the screen and even making it interactive, the next step is, well, I need to add this to the game somehow. And as explained a few videos ago, I have actually built a level editor in the game. So now I need to add the function to add these doors to the level editor and then use the level editor to create the levels. And then we actually have the door playable in the game. So um, first step is gonna be uh, adding options to my level editor. So what I'm doing right now is just adding uh, an icon to the level editor and making sure I can place these doors at the right spots in the template. And then the next step is pretty much um, modifying templates or adding new templates and placing these doors in them and then testing the game again to see if it actually works and if everything goes as planned. And for me, it rarely works in one try. So I'm just trying multiple times and I'm luckily for this video, I'm cutting it everything out that isn't properly working. All right, so the doors are now in the game, but you might've noticed it wasn't really um, correctly positioned everywhere. So I've been tweaking a little bit more. Uh, I haven't recorded all that because it's, it requires a lot of dull, boring work and just, tweaking numbers, changing numbers and trying again and fixing things and luckily for you I can just fast forward all of that and uh, show you the result of all this work. So um, let's go. This is how it looks in the game. And that's how the garage doors are now built into the game. Um, there's still a lot of work that needs to be done and I need to check it and test it and play test it a lot of time. And anyway, this video was supposed to be about marketing and telling you more on uh, the wishlist numbers and everything, but I really didn't do a lot of marketing last week. Yes, I know I've been a bad boy, but um, I had a little bit of a problem getting the game up and running through the Discord channel. So that took a few days longer than I thought. And if I don't have the beta up and running, I can't really announce that there will be a beta up and running because there's no beta up and running. So anyway, it's all sorted now. I actually installed the game on a Windows PC and on a Mac PC through Discord, which is pretty cool if it actually works and runs. Um, so I'm now finishing up this build of the game, making sure most of the bugs are out of it and I'm almost there. And by the time this video is live, so right now as you're watching, I should have more information and details on when the beta is. Um, the next step for me are creating a press release because I need to tell game sites that the game is going to be public beta version and at least some of the smaller sites. And I also need to create a little trailer for the game, which could also be next week's video because people ask me about doing trailers so maybe I can just combine creating the trailer and talking about how I create the trailer on the next week's video. Which sounds pretty smart if I say it out loud so I think that's gonna happen. We'll see. Um, anyway, that's it for this week's video and I hope I'll see you guys next week. Bye! Whoa, I just spilled water on my Mac. Houston, we got a problem. Don't worry, just, just on the touchpad. Nobody uses touchpad.